welcome to the most unrelaxing city in the world. Do you think we'll get arrested if we jumped in? Yes. That would be a good way to end the vlog. Us in handcuffs. Everyone told us before we come that Vietnamese people are not friendly at all. And they're so friendly. He's so cute. Come with me, huh? There yeah, you go. <laughs> There's something also, so enticing about just sitting on a wooden stool with like zero cushion. <laughs> Girls, if you want to come shopping, then definitely come to Ho Chi Minh. I wish I had a bigger bag. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome back to another video. Today we're in a brand new country and we are going to be exploring Ho Chi Minh City here in Vietnam. We have never been here before and it's already so hectic. We've kind of almost been run over about 50 times <laughs> since filming this intro. So wish us luck and stay tuned as we explore some of the really cool places here in Ho Chi Minh City. So we are staying in such a nice homestay, but it's a little bit far away from the center. So we have to take the bus, which is gonna be an experience, but I'm gonna put the information here Definitely book it, it's so nice, so clean, and honestly one of the best places that we've stayed in since we've traveled in Asia. According to Google, the bus should be about 6,000 dong each, and the journey should be about 30 minutes into the main center. Okay, so it was 6,000 each, 12,000 for two of us, which is so cheap, it's about 40p. If you go on Google Maps and type in your journey, obviously you can get all the directions, but if you look at the bottom, it actually says the estimated amount that it should cost, and usually it's right. All through Asia we've used it, and it's always been right, and that helps you to stop being scammed, so definitely use that. of the day it will be the war museum so as some of you know or you should know that Vietnam and America had quite a recent war so we thought the best thing to do would be to check out that first because we don't know much about it to be honest but we definitely should if we're in this country uh, but on the way we're going to try and grab some breakfast because we are hungry starving <laughs> and Vietnam so far we've noticed has some amazing little like cafes and coffee shops so, yeah, like little stalls outside, it's a proper vibe. Proper vibe. Yeah. So we're going to try and find somewhere to grab a coffee and breakfast before we get there. The traffic is mental here. Like every uh, time you try and cross the road, it's like a negotiation. Uh, <laughs> so people just uh, literally... Look, people what, drive. Yeah, on the pavement. <laughs> it's mad. I think we've spotted somewhere with air conditioning, but we have to cross this road, which could take maybe a few months. Yeah, yeah. My God. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, that was like Mission Impossible. Yeah, okay. Hopefully, this place has got aircon. We haven't tried banh mi before. We're really excited to try a proper banh mi and we're definitely going to vlog that experience. But right now we're having this. It was so cheap, like three pounds. I'm real, I love it here. Coffee in Vietnam is top tier. Creme de la creme. The best in the world. I think it's just worth just to come to Vietnam just for coffee. Even if the coffee does go in like two sips. Whoa. No. <laughs> no. Don't get a girlfriend. <laughs> that place was so good. The coffee was actually amazing. Honestly, the three sips I had was amazing. Probably the best sips of my life. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and now we're just walking to the War Museum. Um, hopefully it's air -conned. Okay, let's do it. Two is 80,000 dong. I can feel the aircon coming out of this hole. I've never seen anything like this in my life.
tell you what, it must have been absolutely terrifying to witness all of these tanks coming into your hometown. So this machine behind me was brought over by the French during the war and it was used to decapitate any Vietnamese soldiers. The last one was decapitated in 1960 and his name was Hoan Li Ka. They used to put people in that. Like, honestly, when I come to these places, we went to something similar in Cambodia, I just think like, how are people so sick that this is even invented? in the first place, that like, I just don't, like, it's really sad, I hate it. They used to chain their legs with a pole at the bottom, so they just couldn't move. It's horrible, because it's such recent history as well. I know this is all part of history, but there's truly no excuse for that amount of torture, like, or suffering. Like, what could possibly someone do to deserve that is just, yeah, the mind boggles. Always makes me really upset when we come to Asia and go to these places because like Asian people are just the kindest, sweetest, most loving people and then like they've been through all this terrible yeah. So we've discovered that it was actually a battle between North and South Vietnam and that America was back in the South in an attempt to stop communism. But they ended up surrendering anyway and going back to America but so many lives were lost. It's and crazy. So much torture. But I yeah. always thought that it was a war between Vietnam and America. Same. I didn't yeah. realise that actually America just backed the southern party. No, I didn't know that either. We're walking to the next spot and these guys have convinced us to yeah. take us in there. I don't even know what you call this. We think it would be hilarious, so why not? <laughs> Woo! 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 Hey! <laughs> Definitely not safe. <laughs> oh, I could get used to this. Should have these around London. Sorry, where are you from? England. Ah, London City. Yes, ah. yes, London. We go up to Hanoi. Uh, Along Bay. Yeah. This is crazy. This is crazy. So much traffic. Ah. <laughs> You're a skilled driver. Okay. We arrive a long time. Hey. Is that okay? Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, Thank you, my friend. That just had to be done, didn't yeah. it? Oh. I mean, it was like literally like a two second journey, but. I really wanted to get on one when I yeah, saw one. <laughs> <laughs> that fountain looks so inviting. Oh. Do you think we'll get arrested if we jumped in? Yeah. That would be a good way to end the vlog. Us in handcuffs. So the entrance for this place is 65 per person, 65,000, and then we're going to do an audio tour as well. Should last around an hour. You can't make it smaller, can you? No. Well, that's great. <laughs> How big a pig than Zed? If you guys are going to come and do this tour, make sure you bring your ID, because I didn't bring mine, but Rhea bought hers, thankfully, because you have to leave it as a deposit for these. The Independence Palace is a must-see in Ho Chi Minh City. It was the home and office of South Vietnam's president during the Vietnamese War. The palace became iconic when a North Vietnamese tank crashed through its gates in 1975, marking the end of the war. Today, the palace is a museum and a popular tourist spot, giving a fascinating glimpse into Vietnam's past. Inside, you'll find over a hundred rooms, including meeting halls, reception areas, and even a basement command bunker. Okay, we're off to our next spot now, which is going to be Wait. some lunch. Hello. Hello. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> so, if Rhea makes it, it doesn't fall again. We're off to our next spot. We're going to grab some lunch and then check out a market. And then, yeah, I think after that we're going to head to a church, right? Yeah. Yeah. Another yeah. thing that I was going to say is, everyone told us before we come that Vietnamese people are not friendly at all. And they're so friendly. Yeah. Like, everyone speaks to us and smiles at us. But I think it's because we initiate the smile. Mm. Like, some people might just come and not smile. We do it straight away and then they smile back. Which um, I think you should do everywhere. Like, yeah. if you greet people with a smile and a hello, you're always going to receive friendliness back. Except if you're in London. Except if you're in London. <laughs> We found somewhere that looks like an absolute vibe. 
and we're looking at the menu now and it is really cheap. It seems to be everywhere in Vietnam. Vietnam. <laughs> in Vietnam it's cheap so far. So we may have just overspent because two meals and two drinks come to 190,000 dong. But we so didn't need that air we con. needed the aircon, so yeah, it was worth it. Okay, so we're close to Ben Tang Market now, which is notorious for selling loads of genuine fakes. Not only is it incredibly hot in here, it is very busy. So a little bit chaotic. Trust Rhea to spot a cat straight away. So it seems like there's an abundance of like fake handbags, sunglasses, trainers, pretty much everything you could need okay. in a fake version. So apparently it's part of the culture here that they love to barter. Never just pay what they ask for straight away. Try to bring them a little bit down respectfully, not too much. Don't want to insult them. Come here for my clee sandal. There is so much stuff here. So they've got really good North Face here because North Face is actually manufactured in Vietnam. So sometimes you think it's fake, but it's actually real. Got the wallets as well. We've got the card holders, the belts. Seems like there's a lot of stuff here. How much are these? In Vietnamese dong? Yeah. Full leather. Ooh. 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 Too much. <laughs> Not too much. It's too much. Because this is leather. Yeah, it's make my No, it's too much. Oh. I would only pay this much. Oh. So cheap. So cheap. Can you keep me one more maximum, please? That's the maximum. One more number. No. One, one more number. That's all I know. Don't put 301. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't and I mean every penny. I can't okay. do this. Oh. The, most I, the most I can do is this. Okay, you win. What I'll colour win. do you want? What about if I buy more than one? Yes. Can this you make one cheaper? You want. This one's nice as well. For you. Three, okay, make the same price bowl and this one seven. Everything. No, too much. Okay. Too much. You kill me. You kill me. Okay, keep me uh, your... <laughs> you, I, I kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay for three, I do like this, okay? So it looks like we've blown our budget for today because we're buying four items and that could be the end of the shopping spree for us. My friend, girlfriend? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. How long? How long do you love? How long? Uh, nine years. Nine years. Oh, so long. Yeah. Just to get married. If she's lucky. Maybe in next ten years. Who lucky? Next Who lucky? Years. She lucky. She lucky? <laughs> you lucky? I'm lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, apparently I'm lucky. Very handsome men. Oh, thank fine. you. Apparently I'm very handsome. If you guys want anything in this market, make sure to come and see. Okay. Ciao. Ciao. Yeah. Okay, she's so cute. Come with me, huh? Yeah, thank thank you. You. Yeah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> It's a really nice market, but we need to leave because we spent all our money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said we made it out alive and uh, all of our money is gone. Yeah, but we got four really nice wallets for 40, 40 pounds about, which is absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah. And uh, hey. Hey. I'm gonna, uh, gonna give some to our friends. Do you know what guys, it's four o'clock and we really, really wanted to go and see the pink church, but honestly, we are exhausted. It is so hot today. We've been out since like nine o'clock this morning. So we are gonna head to Bouivian. I definitely said that wrong. But it's a walking street where you can grab a drink and relax because we need it right now. So let's go. These little stalls outside these little cafes are just such a vibe. Reminds me of something you find in Japan. So cute. It's just so cute. There's also, something so enticing about just sitting on a wooden stool with like zero cushion. <laughs> that I've noticed about this city in particular, I don't know if it's all over Vietnam, is there are so many clothes shops and they're so good. Like the clothes are freaking incredible. I want them all. So many beautiful dresses 
And when you think, like, when you look at the labels at home, it always says made in Vietnam. So I think, like, it's really cheap for a start and unreal. So girls, if you want to come shopping, then definitely come to Ho Chi Minh. I wish I had a bigger bag. <gasps> This street is really busy, but we've found like a little place that you can kind of come back off the road because otherwise you're sitting with all the motorbikes literally as you can hear on your lap. But this bit's a, this one's a little bit far back and we're gonna have an ice cold beer with ice. Don't care if you think that's weird, it's not, trust me. Everyone we've met travelling judged us at first but then they started to get their self and now I think they've been converted. Because within two seconds. Yeah, it gets hot. Yeah, thank oh, you. Oh, here we go. And by the way, guys, the beer in Vietnam, this one is Saigon beer, and it's only 30,000, which is one pound. Got it? Yeah. How much are you giving? A pound, which is 35,000. But I bought him his own little band me as well, so. Oh. And especially after the museum today, he was in like that army outfit, it had one leg, He's obviously a victim of war, so I couldn't resist. I had to get him something. Yeah. So it just goes to show you that like the the war is so recent that you can still see it when you're yeah. traveling around. Like I'm so emotional right now. Before he come up to Sam, he come up to me and I only had two thousand in cash because I'd given Sam a hundred to go get a band me. And I was like praying that he'd go over the road to, to get something. But that like, is so sad. The goal of this channel is that eventually we are big enough to help people from all around the world and here's just an example. So guys, we have a buy me a coffee in the description box below. If you can, please can you donate? We always give it back to the people wherever we're traveling that need it. And I think that's uh, the end for today's vlog. I think so, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe it goes a long way for new youtubers <laughs> like us we'll see you guys hopefully in the next video